Welcome to Civil Cal Learn Solutions. In this video, we'll show the latest update to the label at vertices and label at intersection tools. In our first release, we were able to label all our feature lines in a grading base drawing. Now, with our latest update, you can label all your feature lines through an XREV. Now, everyone has different methods. Some people label in a base drawing and some people label their surface spot labels for a subdivision through an XREV. But how do you do that for all your feature lines? So now with our latest update, you can actually label all your feature lines, 2D lines, 3D lines, partial lines, even survey figure lines through an XREF. And let's go through that process. We have two different methods. So if I go into my XREF manager and here's my grading base, I've actually attached it. That way I can click on the feature lines. There's actually feature lines here representing the swells. I wanna label all those feature lines. So let's go through this process. So label at vertices, we'll click it. Type in X for XREF. I'm in my grading sheet. I'll select any feature line that's in that XREF from that X grading base. And now I'm gonna select my window. So let's say I wanna uh, label my whole subdivision. And now it recognizes my feature lines in that grading base drawing. I'll hit enter. I'll type in S for settings and then select the actual spot labels I wanna use, the style. And here, it remembered my last settings, but I can do 2D lines or feature lines, and I'll click OK. And then it's asking me to select a surface. So this one, you can't just select the surface through an XREF. You'll have to just click Enter and then select the surface that's coming through the XREF as an attachment. There is no data reference in this model. I'll click OK. And there we go, it just labeled all my feature lines in the, uh, in the, uh, through the XREF, as you can see. So let's see how many labels did it just include. Select, go to my properties. And as you can see, in, within a few seconds, I added 533 spot labels. Now, here you can actually create some kind of left and right justification label styles. Uh, for example, if I go into here, I actually, in my styles, I actually have a left and right justification style. So finish grade left, as you can see there, and a right. So I can do a match properties and select um, the labels I want to switch left or right. All right, that's, now let's look at the second method. Uh, we'll delete these labels. And I can now go to label vertices type in Y and label everything that's on that particular layer that's attached through that XREF. So I have the grading base and I'm gonna label all my feature lines. Here it is, CDTM feature. I'll click OK and then type in S for setting. That way I can select which um, style I wanna use, just 2D feature lines. Select my surface, hit enter, and then select my surface. Click OK. Give it two or three seconds, or four or five. And now it labeled all my feature lines. Now you could do the same process. I'm gonna go back and delete this. So you could use the same workflow with the label at intersections. So I'll type in X or F and select the actual feature line or polyline. And I can do a window selection, which ones I wanna label. and hit enter, you can see it sees all the feature lines and type in S for settings. You can hit enter to just select the default, click okay, and then select, hit enter just like my surface and click okay. And there we go, I just added all the intersecting uh, feature lines. That's basically where this swell meets this other feature line here. So same thing here, uh, basically inner intersecting or uh, T intersections for um, feature lines. So this is our latest update. Um, let us know if you have any questions and enjoy using our app. Thank you.